uh, you can call me that. And this is some of the, the, the stuff that you had to say on social media when we asked you about uh, what you love about baking in springtime and all the trends that go along with that. Christelle Salem says, love this as I love baking. Please share some tips on the consistency of icing and how do I know when the consistency is perfect? That's a good question. So when you're going to be piping. That is a good question because you need it to be spreadable because yes. you don't want to sit there and push and push and push. <clears throat> so I always say nice consistency like peanut butter. So nice and spreadable. Yes. yes. That's what you're looking for. That's what for. you want. But right now with Clover Mama Bake, we're about to make some beautiful flower inspired spring cookies. Oh, look at these. Aren't they just so springy? I was like, what did you get? How did you get those pictures on them? Meanwhile, I'm it's actual flower. Yeah. All right, so let's get started off with this recipe then. Okay, so this biscuit recipe is nice and super easy and great to get the kids involved. Mm -hmm. My flour goes in the bowl, mm -hmm. icing sugar in the bowl. Good. Then I'm going to put um, vanilla extract in there. Uh -huh. And then my mama bake. Excellent. At room temperature? This is room temperature, so it's, always. So it's nice and soft. We always bake at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And then just to add some spring. Okay. Lemon, Little... lemon or orange zest, mm -hmm. any sort of... Lime? Office. Would that work too? Lime works great as well. Okay. So just a nice lot of flavour in there. Citrusy flavour to it. And then yeah. this is where the kids get their fingers in. Okay. And you've got to really work go. this butter in. Mm -hmm. And you work it and work and work it until it comes out like my dough that I've got underneath right the parchment yeah. paper. Okay. All right. So, so get the kids involved as well. And of course, Clover Mama Bake, great for your bakes at home. Those yummy bakes. It's a great source of vitamin A and D. It contains 80% fat. So you know that you're going to be getting that flavor yes. when you're using it. Okay. What's next? So you, you have to rest this for at least half an hour in the fridge. So okay. you rest it. Pop it between two pieces of parchment paper straight out the fridge. Mm -hmm. And I just do this because it might be a little bit crumbly straight out the fridge. Okay. This keeps everything together. Yes. Keeps it from sticking on to your, your, roller. your, your surface as well. Uh -huh. Okay, so when you get it to be about five moles, mm -hmm. you cut out your cookies. And this is, of course, where your kids are going to love it. Excellent. So if you don't have a cookie cutter, a glass will work just as well. But you just okay. have to pop it into some flowers to, to yeah. prevent it from sticking. In fact, any kind of shape that kind of has a, a, a space oh, from totally. the surface um, upwards would work I've quite used well. these nice scalloped ones. Oh, look at that. This is a scone cutter. And That's then it goes onto your baking tray. Mm -hmm. And this is where the fun begins. Yes, because you now you're going to make it look fancy like brush that. Brush those with some egg whites. Okay. That's going to be our glue today. Uh huh. All right, so just just one little coat on top. Just one single coat on so top. There we go. I've become quite the painter these days. I can see. I, I must say, your skill set is growing <laughs> by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Like that. That looks like it's that is a good stunning. job. So uh, you can SMS the keyword Clover to 33728 and we'll send you a list of the ingredients as well as the link to the recipe so you can make these beautiful flower inspired springtime cookies. Wow, one more over fine. here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm very careful and I'm just concentrating and when I do that, <laughs> my voice so tends to lower. So this helps just to stick okay. your flowers on top and then another coat on top of your flowers. Okay, good. But we've got all sorts of little flowers here. Yes, so make it fancy. You don't have to go like big, you can go small. Oh my gosh, okay, this is getting tricky now. There we go. There you oh, go. Pop it into the oven. Okay, so the, the reason why you're using the second coat is just to make sure that Just to make sure that it goes, and it gives you that nice gloss that we've got in those ones. Okay, and then in the oven for how long? For about 10, 12 minutes until they're not just slightly golden around the edges, yeah. and it's 180 degrees. Good, 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 just like that. All right, so while I do this, let's quickly show you how we made these beautiful flower-inspired springtime cookies. Ooh, ooh. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Celebrate the beauty of spring and add some colorful flowers to your baking repertoire with these springtime cookies from Clover Mama Bake. Start by adding 100 grams of icing sugar to a bowl. 200 grams of cubed Clover Mama Bake. 300 grams of cake flour. The zest of two oranges and five moles of vanilla essence. Rub the mixture together with your fingertips to create a breadcrumb consistency and continue mixing until you have a dough. Next, wrap the cookie dough in cling film and pop it in the fridge until cold. 
Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and roll it out to five millimeters thickness. Then using a cookie cutter or the rim of your coffee cup, cut out cookie shapes. Brush the tops with whisk egg whites. Then top each cookie with an edible flour before brushing the tops with egg white again. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for eight to 10 minutes and you're done. Wake up and smell the flowers. Whether you put some in your hair, place them all over your house or use them in the kitchen, make sure you showcase and celebrate spring in all its beauty and all its glory this season. Made with love by Clover. And as simple as that, SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. We'll send you a link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list. And you can make these. Look at that. Beautiful. Citrusy flavored. Ooh. Flowerfully I, decorated. Yes. Biscuits. Biscuits. Yes. Lovely. What would you have these with? with tea? Tea, coffee, maybe still with the weather, some hot chocolate. Yeah. Mm, okay. Or just sneak them out of the tin at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Clover to 33728. We're loving all of your comments coming through. We also had uh, Shireen Abrams here saying, uh, Good morning, Anna and Grace. Happy spring. Loving the spring look. And I'm watching you guys and learning so much from the Culinary Hotline team. Always have the best ideas when it comes to baking. Have a super Monday. And Elaine wanting to know, once again, I think that question about the edible flowers. Yes. Um, do you just grow? With these, do you go to do you go to your, your local nursery and then just ask for the seeds for edible flowers? And no, I think the easiest garden? thing is seedlings. Yeah, so okay. you go get violas, pansies, those sort of edible, and ask them because they normally have a section with edible flowers. Pop them in some pot plants. You, mm -hmm. know, you can put them on your kitchen um, windowsill. Yes, just and keep then them you can at the always have them. It's just that you've got to take care what you spray on them. Because okay. remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's going to be ingested, so you've got to be careful. Absolutely. Yes. All right. But for this particular recipe, SMS Clover to 33728. Thank you very much for oh, the springtime awesome. inspired baking. Please. Like my God. I love it. I love it. I'm going to wear it the whole cream. day. Do that. It's going to look absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. 